Hello guys, here is Oliver from Brothers in Dice channel and we are here just before painting of Lehman Russ, the Primarch of the Space Wolves. So this is a repaint job. I start with uh, priming the model with uh, Vallejo Deep Dark Green. I spray the whole model and uh, followed with grayish blue as a zenithal light which means it's sprayed from the top on the most exposed areas. I continued with uh, metallic parts on the body, on his armor. I used mixture of Abaddon black and dwarf bronze. I painted mainly the rims on the leg armor, on the shoulder pads, on the shield and on the backpack. Right after the bronze parts, I continue with uh, golden-like parts, which are the base of the sword, the inner part of the axe and the wolf heads on the backpack. I wanted to look it a bit different than the standard bronze, so I choose to paint it with uh, retributor armor mixed heavily with black to be kinda dark gold. Okay, some other parts like the armor joints, the axe parts, uh, sword parts, the chains on the shoulder pad are painted with uh, lead belcher. I continued with the wolf belt. I used camo medium brown first layer and then I added some white just to make it lighter. While the belt was drying I painted the handles on the X and the sword with Macrid red which is today Mephisto red. Once the pelt was dried, I continued with washing. Starting with the pelt, I used Agrax Earthshade and the metallic parts on the model. Basically, I used all the washes I have, which is uh, black, purple, reddish, To deepen the shadow I use standard black from Vallejo and spray the recessed areas of the model and to add the dirt and dust effect of the model I used matte brown with airbrush and uh, I washed the textures on the armor with uh, Serapim sepia just to represent dust and dirt. So I spray the lower parts of the legs with matte brown just to represent the settled dust as well as the inner corners of the armor mainly on the shoulder pad where actually it's naturally that the dirt will settle. Using Serapim sepia wash, I want to enhance the textures and ornaments on the armor and uh, I need to thin it down first with uh, glaze medium, 
just to make it really smooth and avoid the uh, creation of uh, puddle stains and maps. The Space Wolf's symbol on the shoulder pad is painted with uh, ray card flesh shade for the moon and corn red for the wolf head. The circle rim around the symbol is painted with the same mixture I used for the rims on the armor, which is dwarf bronze and abaddon black. And the whole symbol is washed with Agrax Earth Shade and Serapim Sepia. I have picked out all the small details on the cloak using different shades of brown and of white. For the axe and metal parts I painted with lead belcher, then I washed all that using brown and purple wash for the metals. To finalize the bronze and steel parts I used uh, dry brushing of the edges. For the bronze parts uh, I used dwarf bronze and for the steel parts I used lead belcher. Also, as you can notice, uh, there is already a oxidation effect on uh, bronze parts uh, for which I used uh, hog turkeys just thinned down with water. The final step on the weapons, uh, I wanted to paint the blades on the sword as well as the axe with high gloss chrome, polished chrome effect. It's very important to have primed the blades with uh, high gloss black paint which is in this case Tamiya X1 and followed with uh, polishing powder with chrome effect. Mm -hmm. 
so you can just dip the q-tip in the polishing powder and polish the blades until you're happy with the result Since uh, the sword is a power weapon, I want it to represent the energy field or source like glowing light on the blade. And for that I airbrushed the base of the blade with uh, red mixed with orange rust. And the small lightnings are painted with uh, red mixed with white. Final part of the model is head. First touch is uh, airbrushing the whole head with red brown from Vallejo as a primer. And I continued with a mixture of elf flesh and white. I sprayed this mixture from above, again, the zenithal light technique. To the most recessed areas such as eye sockets, mouth, I applied a thin layer of uh, Raycland flesh shade wash. I painted the hair with uh, US Earth Yellow and washed with Serapium Sepia mixed with Glaze Medium just to make it as smooth as possible. And in the final stage, I highlighted the hair with Averill and Sunset mixed with a touch of white. Okay guys, so this is it, this is him, this is Lemon Russ, painted and finished, ready to join the battle on the battlefields in Brothers in Dice. I hope you like this video, since this is the second Primark we painted, I hope you will also check the Alpharius, which was the first one. And hopefully we will continue this series of Primarchs next time.